Hello, I'm Karen Elgersma at Rocky Creek Winery in the Cowichan Valley, and you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, Victoria's own Billy Idol is back. And how not to sweat the small or even the big stuff. And a little piece of history from storyteller John Adams. All that and more on Go Island. Hello, thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. We have such a sunshiny show for you. We are here at Rocky Creek Winery in the beautiful Couch and Valley. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, the butterflies are out. What a beautiful day to uh, enjoy the uh, fruit of the valley. Linda, tell me, Rocky Creek Winery, for people who've never been here, tell us a little bit about who you guys are and what you do. Um, well, Rocky Creek Winery is really uh, a winery that started on a dream and uh, sort of our, our slogan that I think sums up really great is great wines, great people, great experiences. I love that. Um, one of the things we love, as you had mentioned, is Couch and Air is absolutely beautiful. The, there's so much tie-in with everything, tie-in with food, culture, art, and, and just mother nature. So we embrace it all at our vineyard and hopefully have a great experience here as well. Now, when I was here last, I remember talking to you about how part of the experience of coming to Rocky Creek is you can have a picnic out in the gardens, or the vineyard, it's so lovely. And boy, have your gardens changed since I was here last. They're beautiful, Linda, you've been busy. Yes, I have. That's um, one of my husband's passion is winemaking and the vineyard. My passion is the gardens and I love gardening. Every year I want to take a garden and really develop it. So we've really worked towards it. We've got some beautiful irises, beautiful specialty trees, a variegated maple. And just again, it, it ties in with the whole outdoor living. That's the way we like to live. It's just as soon as the sun comes out, we're out there, so. Okay, so here is the beauty of this place. The gardens are to be enjoyed by all. Tell us about how you guys uh, help support picnics here. Um, we do it several ways, as you had mentioned. Really, Cowichan Bay is five minutes away from us, so it's just a beautiful opportunity to go shopping. Yes. Um, you said the bread, there's also seafood, um, just something to experience here. Yes. So you can either bring your picnic, or if you, it's too much work, we've actually tied with Hillary's cheese, and we can order sandwiches ahead of time. The other thing we do have here, as well, is a cheese plate with beautiful cheese crackers and some local pickles, carrots and uh, asparagus. So we have a little simple sort of casual European style uh, cafe where you can have a little snack, you can bring your picnic or we can try and make arrangements to have a sandwich here. Something else we've done that's really unique to the area, people really wanted to enjoy perhaps more than a glass of wine and we've come up now with a flight of wine. So you can sit out, have a selection of three wines We've got funny little names, aromatic whites, hot sellers, um, uh, winemakers select, make me blush. And then just enjoy, we have music outdoors. It's just the whole experience. And they have a Father's Day event that is so spectacular. But first, our very own version of Billy Idol is back. And this time he's pedaling for a cause. I'll let James Green explain. Billy Idol. You are an inspiration. What a hero in our community. Thanks for bringing us that story, James Green. We are here at Rocky Creek. Uh, beautiful, sunshiny day here in the Cowichan Valley. One of the neat things that you have added to the experience of coming here is um, an opportunity to have a flight of wine. Tell me about uh, how you guys do this here. First of all, can we just talk about how much I love your, your label? Isn't that pretty? Love it, and it matches me. just want to say right now, Look at that. Okay, sorry. Now, tell us about the flights. Well, the flights we created because sometimes our tasting room can be very busy and people yeah. have had a lot of tastings and hearing a lot of, 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 of us talk about our wines. But sometimes you want a selection, you would just want to experience the wine as well. And we appreciate that, so we came up with the idea for uh, uh, at our winery for a flight of wines. So we have about four selections you can choose from, so you don't have to decide, but we this one is actually, we're tasting, is called the Hot Cellars. Um, we are the most award-winning winery in the valley, and we have really Let's focused on the that quality. The most award-winning winery in the valley. That means that uh, if you guys were, if it was like the Academy Awards, you, you guys have like, 
you have the most statues. <laughs> yes. But it's medals here in the winery. That's so amazing. You must be so proud. Yes, we've really focused on because we started so small. A lot of people um, were wondering what we were up to and we've always been focused on quality. Also, the other thing is being true to this region. Nice. We've talked how great Cowichan is. We really want to develop this region with island grown grapes. We're going to head into the vineyard and we are going to tell you about a Father's Day event that you will have to put on your calendar. It's going to be one of those community parties that will be unforgettable and delicious. But first, it affects thousands of people each year. In fact, one in five Americans deals with this and it's chronic. It affects their social life. It affects their confidence. We're talking about ex excessive sweating. And there's a new treatment that might just be the miracle cure. Hey, little baby grapes, little questers, you can do it. Grow up to be big grapes. Oh, yes, look at you. Oh, hi. Ha, sorry, here in the Rocky Creek Vineyard. So beautiful. I, just, I was just talking to the vineyard, trying to get the grapes just to sort of feel zen, feel love. Uh, do you ever talk to the vines? Oh, it's supposed to be the greatest thing. There, there's dances that people do to bless the vineyards. So just like talking to your plants, the grape's very much a plant as well. There can't be anything good coming out of uh, our mouth into the grape. One of the, the beautiful things about going to the winery to taste the wine, at least for me, is I love just being on the land, the farm, seeing the vines, seeing uh, people out working in the field. There's just something so rich about that experience. And you are inviting people to the vineyard for a big event on Father's Day. Tell me about that. Yes, we decided again our life and we love outdoor living. And we've seen so many wonderful movies about the wine region and I love al fresco dining and I love it in the vineyard. So we set up tables in the vineyard. We have fresh pork roasted all day long, simple salads. We've been doing this for four, this will be our fourth year and we've decided just again to, to step it up and have a wonderful catering from Farmsgate Food and Catering. We have live music, because what else will make it uh, add to the ambience is, mm. is live music from John Wade and his group. I can't stand it. You're in a vineyard at a long harvest table with friends and family drinking locally grown wine, eating fresh farm food. It's just, I can't stand it, it's almost too much. So if people want to come to this event, you, they can get tickets online. Yes, you can book online. Uh, you can show up until the Sunday, about four o'clock. What time still is get going on It's the Sunday, June 16th from five to 8 p.m. And weather permitting, but we're a hardy group here. We live on the West Coast. So. We can do it. It'll be sunny though, I can just feel it. It's going to cooperate. What a great event. We uh, will continue to tour around this beautiful vineyard uh, right after our quick little itty bitty break. We're also going to head out with um, historian John Adams to talk about the very sad time of our history in Victoria when the smallpox broke out and we lost many lives. So stay with us. This is the way I would love to eat every day. Al fresco, amazing. And you can eat this way. Uh, Father's Day, they're having a big pig fest here. Everyone's invited. This is the way you'll be eating right outside, surrounded by nature, amazing. Now, I love your, the way you have these little, um, these little caps. Tell me about this. This is way better than a, a cork. And this is perfect. It to lead into our Father's Day pig roast because you don't need a corkscrew. That's right. It's called a zork and you strip and sip. So we strip it and then we <laughs> sip. I love that. Ready, 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 listen. And then, traditional popping, put it back in the bottle. If you can't finish your bottle and go home. We're gonna all gather around the table soon and share some wine and stories, which is something you can do at the Pig Fest Father's Day right here at Rocky Creek Winery. But first, Ah, uh, the smallpox. When it broke out in Victoria, it touched many lives, including the life of one special little girl. John Adams explains. Tell us when you guys open, how people can come and enjoy a picnic here, a tasting, and of course the Pig Fest. Yes, um, we're open on Fridays to Mondays from 11 to 4, and it's very flexible. Come for a tasting. We'd love to meet you. If you want to do a flight of wines and just enjoy the atmosphere, glass of wine. We have a cheese plate. 
You can bring your own picnic. We can make sandwiches ahead of time. Just have a great experience. Experience local wines with some great food or great ambiance. Beautiful gardens. That's really what our focus is. We're doing a Father's Day pig roast on June 16th from 5 to 8. And again, another great experience to be outside and enjoy the grapes. Have a chance to walk in our vineyard, which is one of the rarities that we do. And Father's Day is a great opportunity. That's so awesome. we hope you have a opportunity to come. You have to come. It put it absolutely something to do this summer. And really, well, thank you all for allowing us to hang out with you guys and all the hard work you do to keep these grapes growing beautifully. Cheers, my friends. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you in the Cowichan Valley.